Today, we're eliminating the fear of the mid-range wedge shot. I'm gonna show you what you need to do when you're hitting this shot. I'm gonna probably show you a common fault that you might actually be doing, and I got a cool training at the end. It's gonna tie all this together. I'm PGA teaching professional Todd Cove, director of instruction for US Golf TV, and today we got a fun shot. It's about a 50 yard to 70 yard shot. And in this scenario, for a lot of golfers, maybe you've hit a beautiful drive on a short par four and you're thinking birdie, but you don't know what to do, or you've hit two great shots on a par five and you are sitting in what I like to call the garden spot. You're thinking birdie, but yet you struggle with this shot. So let's first of all talk about club selection. I brought three wedges here. I've got a pitching wedge, I've got my 54, and I've got my 58. Now, the first thing that I think a lot of golfers are doing when you struggle with this type of shot is you're using your most lofted club and you're just trying to rip it. You're making a full swing with a lot of loft which causes the ball to go up in the air. And that makes it difficult to control your distance. So the first tip I want to give you is don't use your 58 for this shot. Okay, try to use your 54. So that's what I'm gonna demonstrate with here. And matter of fact, I don't know if you can tell in the video right there, but we got a little bit of wind today. And if we had even more wind, you can see the flag kind of blown into me. If I had a lot of wind, I might even go to my pitching wedge. That's why I brought it over. So be aware of that. Now, so the first thing we've got here is we're gonna use our 54. Now, now that we've got the club selection dialed in, let's talk a little bit about the setup and then we're gonna talk about the actual motion. So in the setup, what I want you to feel is I want that ball to be basically in the center of the stance to maybe slightly back, right? So if this is the center of my stance right here, see that? Feet together, you know this if you've watched any of our videos here at US Golf TV, hopefully you're a subscriber. We know that we start with the ball in the middle of the feet and on this shot, we're gonna go equal distance towards the target equal distance away from the target so that the ball is basically positioned in the center of the stance and I'm gonna give it a little bit of forward shaft lean and the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep my weight a little bit on the front foot to start. So you know that we like the 60-40 split, right? But on a wedge, I want you to go 70. 70 front, 30 back. Let's just hit a shot, all right? Let me hit a shot and let's dive into the actual motion. So I got the right club for this particular shot. I'm gonna get the ball in the right spot, which is the middle. I'm gonna give it a little bit of forward shaft lean. I'm gonna get a little bit more weight on my lead foot, and I'm going to keep that weight there in the backswing. Here we go. Oh yeah. Okay, I'll take that. That was pretty good right out of the chute. You can see the trajectory, see that? A lot of you ask out there, and I love hearing from you. It's my favorite thing to do in the morning. Let you in on a little inside scoop here. My favorite thing to do in the morning, get up, head down to the place, get a cup of coffee, and I just look at the comments and I respond to the comments. But my favorite thing is to understand where you're from and how old you are and what you want us to talk about. So we get people from all over the world, England, Iceland, New Zealand, of course the US, Canada, Mexico, Argentina. The other day we had somebody from Africa. So we love hearing that and let us know what you want us to talk about. But hopefully you could see where the ball flight was down a little bit by getting the ball back of center slightly, by keeping that weight a little forward with a tiny bit of forward shaft lean, and here's the key, here's the key. By using a little less lofted club, I'm able to control that trajectory. If you or I had hit that shot with a 58, the swing would have been longer, and the ball would have went straight up in the air. So that's the first thing. So that's a little bit about setup and club position, okay? All right, so let's talk a little bit about the, about the motion now. So first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna pull up this, uh, the stacker right here. This is something that the team developed. I'm really proud of this. Um, I like the colors. So we got the blue and the red, and it uh, just slides right on here, super easy, slides up the forearm here and here. And we're gonna, I'm gonna use this today to demonstrate how the motion works, but also what is the most common fault that I see when people are swinging the golf club. So just slide it up there, you got the blue on the trail, the red on the, on the lead arm. All right, so when making this motion, it's really a, a finesse move. It's not a power move like a driver. It's a finesse move. So you want the arms, right here, right? I want the arms working in unison with the body. So let me just go ahead and hit a shot here. Let me get a ball placed up here. All right, I know the setup, I know where I need to be. 
I'm gonna put the stocker, it just fits together like that, super easy. So what you'll notice is it joins my arms together, but it connects me, my arms, my body together. So let me just go ahead and hit a shot. You can see how simple this is. Here we go. I caught that one that's maybe a little hot. Yeah, not too bad, okay? So you, when you're making this motion, you want your arms and you want your body working together. Now when you're hitting a driver and you're looking for power, the arms and the body aren't necessarily going the same rate because you're looking for acceleration. You're looking to increase speed. But in a pitch shot or a longer shot, like a mid-range wedge shot like this, okay, let's hit another one here. It's gonna join it up, super easy, there we go. Make a couple practice swings. Stacker keeps my arms together, working with my body. All right, now I've got the feel. Ball in the center, a little bit of forward shaft lean, 70% weight, lead foot. All right, that was a little bit better, a little softer. Perfect, all right. So that's the motion, arms and body working together. So that's a little bit about club selection, setup, and motion. But what's the most common fault? What's the most common fault that could be causing you to struggle with this shot? Well, first of all, if you're struggling with this shot, put it in the comments. What are you seeing? Are you chunking it? Are you hitting it thin? Sculling it, shanking it? What does it look like, okay? But here's typically what I see, is I see when the golfer swings the club back, put the stacker together, super easy, all right? When they swing the club back, they tend to rotate their forearms too much. See that? Notice how the red stacker, gets on top. And when the red stacker gets on top and the blue stacker goes underneath, the club goes inside. Now when you do that, the club gets back and behind us. This, we talk a lot about this in our vertical line swing system, all right, and in our book, The Bad Lie, that when the club comes too far inside, the bottom of the swing works backwards, okay, and you know what happens. You expose that nasty spot right there, right? and you hit that S word, which we're not gonna talk about. But when you swing the club back, what you should be feeling is that the arms are working in unison, all right, and that the club is staying more in front. Now with the stacker, so I love this, this is why we designed it. All I gotta do is keep the blue on top, see that? When the blue's on top, the club's in front. When the red's on top, the club is underneath. Let's go ahead and hit another shot, here we go. All right, so. Stack her together, feet together, no forward shaft lean, weight left. I'm gonna keep the blue stacker on the top. Oh, best one right there. Best one of the day. Boom, get tight. No reason to fear the mid-range wedge shot. Now you know what club to use, you know how to set up, you know the feel, and matter of fact, you know the most common fault, and you actually, you got a cool training aid to check out if you're struggling with this shot.